Hello, girls. I'm so glad to see you. Why did you stay away so long? Did you miss me? Tell us one of your adventures. Something exciting. Want to hear about the time I cut off Hook's hand and threw it to the crocodile? Oh, I've always liked that one. Me too. Well, there I was on Maruna's Rock. All children except one grow up. Jay and Barry's Peter Pan was the first play that Walt Disney attended as a young boy in Marceline, Missouri. He later scored the lead role in Peter Pan in the school production. No actor ever identified himself more with the lead role than I, he said. All it takes is faith and trust. Oh, and something I forgot. Dust. Dust? Dust. Yup. Just a little bit of pixie dust. As a young man, Walt Disney married and enjoyed a loving, happy family. Peter Pan, however, remained a bachelor, drifting from girl to girl, from Tinkerbell to Wendy, to the mermaids to Tiger Lily. Peter! What about Tiger Lily? Tiger Lily? Oh, Tiger Lily! <laughs> Neverland is as polygamous as Seal Island, Disney's Oscar-winning nature documentary. Ah, what more could one wish? A good home, adoring wives, a peaceful paradise. Polygamy may seem odd, Yet 84% of human cultures and 96% of mammalian species practice it. In a recent interview, Dr. David Barish of the University of Washington provided us some insight into the nature of polygamy. It's the, the, the basic fact that for males and females, um, the, the perhaps unfortunate reality is that individuals do better in the sense of increasing their fitness, maximizing their success and projecting their genes into the future if they have more than one sexual partner. Uh, and this is true not only for males, which we've, we've always known actually, or, uh, but we now have a better theoretical grasp of it, but more recently we find out that it's also true for females. So, I mean, it's not that monogamy is impossible, it's just that it's, to some extent, it requires going against our biological inclinations. Disney set out to create a contrast between the main two female characters, Wendy and Tinkerbell. From their actions to their wardrobe, each represent what Freud terms the mother and the whore. Wendy represents a maternal figure, one who cares for the safety and well-being of all at Neverland while Tinkerbell fits into the jealous girlfriend role, willing to murder her competition. Tinkerbell! Not so fast! Please, Tinkerbell! We can't keep up with you! Tinkerbell! Wait! Tinkerbell is often jealous of Wendy. Um, is there any difference between male and female jealousy that you've come across in studying, you know, the maybe biologically or just studying the behaviors of men and women? Oh, sure. There, there's a big difference, um, or a number of differences. One of them is that male jealousy is much more likely to manifest itself in violence uh, than is female jealousy. Not that female jealousy is, is uh, indifferent to violence. Are you guilty or not guilty? Guilty? But don't you know you might have killed her? Males are more likely to be upset with indications of sexual behavior on the part of, quote, their female with someone else. But sometimes there's trouble in paradise. For every now and then, some fickle female manages to elude the watchful eye of her lord and master. This is what happens when an irate husband discovers one of his wives in a neighbor's harem. 
Maybe she felt she made a mistake in her choice of master, but that makes no difference. Changing one's mind is not a female's privilege up here. Whereas women are more likely to be upset by indications of emotional infidelity on the part of their man. A girl? What's she doing here? And in her nightdress, too. Come on, dearie. Join us for a swim. Oh, please, I'm not dressed. Oh, but you must. We and Phil. No, no, please. Too good for us, eh? <laughs> Though surrounded by women, Peter Pan remains surprisingly asexual. I think I'll give you a, a kiss. What's a, a kiss? Oh, well, uh, I'll show you. Oh! Perhaps his sexuality is his shadow, something he has hidden in a closet or in a dresser drawer. According to Young, the shadow personifies everything the subject refuses to acknowledge about himself. Perhaps the human shadow is our polygamous past. I came across a few studies that, that talked about monogamy and economic inequality. Uh, do you know, uh, have, you, have you come across that yourself or have you um, studied any, any correlation in between there? The basic pattern has been for a long time, and it's, I think I see no reason to think it's changed. But monogamy actually is a a promoter of equal opportunity, essentially. Whereas polygyny uh, tends to be unfair, particularly interestingly to males. The males from two to five years old are known as bachelors, and bachelors they are indeed. For all the females belong to the beach masters and are members of one harem or another. And that's why monogamy is actually a, um, um, a very pro-democratic institution, particularly for men, because women are likely to get mated whether they're in a monogamous or a polygynous society. There are no old maids on Seal Island. The men who in a polygynous society are likely to lose out, with the exception of the unusual few who are going to be successful. A caress or two, and another bride is added to the harem. Right. And so, uh, you know, following up with that, what are some of the benefits of monogamy? I know you know you you mentioned in your book um, a few of them, and there's so much working against monogamy biologically. Could you expand on, you know, just some of the benefits of it? The bottom line benefit, the one that's most commonly found if you look at all the different animals that are monogamous, and there aren't very many, but there are some, you know, in a variety of types. The bottom line seems to revolve around enhanced parenting opportunities for the children. Did we mention trouble? When 800 pounds of blubber parks on your flipper, there's not much you can do about it but yelp. And wait until the big bully makes up his mind to move. Free at last. It's a hard life, this survival of the fittest. Monogamy is not natural, but that doesn't mean it's not possible. And that but people should understand that they would be, if they want to be monogamous, that they're going to have to work at it. But Disney and Barry equate monogamy with adulthood. But it can be hard to grow up and maintain a lasting marriage. There's a Peter Pan in us all, and a bachelor in every boy. Young writes, one is enlightened not by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness visible. It is only by acknowledging our polygamous past that we can best embrace our monogamous future. Yes, once more the players in the great spectacle vanish into mystery. And Mother Nature rings down her curtain of mist on another true life adventure, the saga of Seal Island.